I got a one-way plane ticket from Boise to Seattle and Seattle to Indianapolis, Indiana. That took pretty much all day yesterday or the day before yesterday. Once I landed in Indiana, it was almost dark. Got a taxi and then went from the airport to Zionsville, Indiana. And that's where I picked up the ambulance. And then from there, um, I drove right around 100 miles and stayed at a um, Super 8. On the plane flight from Boise to Seattle, that was okay. But then the one from Seattle to Indiana was horrible. I felt like crap. I had to drive the ambulance in Indianapolis. After I had flown all day long, I was super jet lagged. I had a horrible headache. I didn't even adjust the mirrors to where I could see. And I was driving on highways that were extremely busy around Indian Indianapolis. And the roads were wet, <clears throat> pitch black. Yeah, it was definitely sketchy. Yeah, it was crazy. The next day, I drove all the way to Sioux City. Iowa has the most wind energy out of all the states. So they're all wind turbines. So today we're gonna go to Mount Rushmore and then hopefully drive another eight hours after that. A lot of driving. This is hotel number two. Fancy, fancy. I'm in Sioux City. No way. There's cocaine on the table. Oh, I'm gonna need this. Super 8 in Du Bois, Wyoming. So this used to have one of these rails over here. I removed that because it was just gonna smack me in the head every time. So I've cleaned a lot of this up. I wanted to give you guys an idea of what this looked like originally. Um, those pads came from over here. Um, I think I'm gonna keep that area kind of for people to sit if they want to. Contemplating taking that chair out, but we'll see. So cooktop's gonna go there. Gotta cut all that out. Uh, I'm gonna put a propane stove on top right there. That's gonna be a mini fridge and a microwave. And then TV's gonna go up in that corner. This is gonna be my bed. It's gonna have a pull out. Just cleaned it up mostly, but I've taken a lot of stuff out of here. There used to be a big old armrest right there that weighed a ton. There's a lot of storage up in here for my gear and silverware and plates and all that stuff, and food. But wanted to give you guys an idea what this looks like on the inside. Um, the seats are in good shape, which is strange to me. Seems like there'd be tears or something. But I've removed a bunch of stuff on that too. It's gonna be pretty sick. And I think I'm gonna do a wood finish so this entire <clears throat> interior is gonna be wood instead of all this blue uh, medical hospital looking stuff. Um, all this is gonna be wood textured. 
I think I'm just gonna keep that metal rail and then down the middle on this side I'm gonna put a magnetic piece of metal down the middle and then put wood over the top of that that way I can stick magnets up there my souvenirs and everything and it will just kind of have like magnets or pictures or whatever um, displayed on top I'm just gonna have a wood piece that pulls out it's gonna sit on top and it's gonna pull out to about here and then um, that'll be my bed. I'll just have a memory foam cushion. Pretty sick. It's a 7.3 liter turbo diesel.